at AT and T that they could they could run me a dedicated line for fifty megabytes up, fifty megabytes down. For I think it was it was either five or six hundred dollars a month. It was like a really ridiculous like quote. And then so you know back when MH two was coming out, we had a lot of internet problems, and it took Spectrum like three weeks, four weeks to fix it. And like in that time, I was like, I bought a second cell phone plan to stream from. Oh, so we're playing against rhinos again. This could be uh, the Velomachus deck too. So I guess I'll play this shores. I was streaming from like, I bought a second cell phone just to stream from. I got the software that used like a hybrid internet connection. I bought this uh, really, really sketchy uh, like cell phone uh, mobile router modem thing from a site called Unlimitedville, <laughs> uh, which is quite the name. And uh, that didn't work. Uh, the internet was like really slow for that. It's like meant for like rural, uh, rural uh, farmers and stuff who like don't have any ISPs in their area. I tried that. Uh, I was on the phone with Spectrum every single day. It was a rough time. You trophy a lot now, so I spend my extra motive prize money on. Uh, do, I mean, whatever, I really, but. I uh, ba basically like all my magic online winnings that that's what I I use all of that money to buy I've been using that money to rebuild my paper collection over like the last two years and I have a pretty substantial collection at this point but that's usually where my like MTGO prize pool prize prizes come from but Starlink Starlink wasn't available in my area I tried like T-Mobile hotspot uh that wasn't available in my area I mean, my current setup's been working for a while now. It just, like, was pretty bad for a while. Uh, you know what? Let's actually let this resolve. Steal a Rhino, then Thirst a Rhino. Do you have any Power 9? No, I've just been rebuilding my modern collection. I used to have a, a Legacy collection, too, back in the day. Not anymore. Steal both rhinos. I think it's better to be able to counter more rhinos. I'm not sure that this attack is great. It's probably fine. With all my counter spells. Yeah, that, that makes sense, Lockhart. I could do the same thing. Steal a rhino, drown a rhino, hold up counter spell. It's probably good. What deck would I suggest be Hammer Time and Red Blue decks? And this one's probably pretty good against both those. Come on. Come on. So I, I can drown the Rhino after it blocks as my Rhinos have Trample, of course. And I'll, I'll give them the info that I'm going to kill a Rhino here. Because I don't really want them to double block. They play force against bad. We just counter the force, I think. And yeah, maybe they have a third cascade spell, but they'd have to have double force for it to even really be that bad. Third Charless Agent. Pretty good. Kind of lucky that the, none of these were violent uppers, because it is, of course, way harder to play around those cards. They're instant, or that card because it's an instant. That's the block here. What are my thoughts on the Just Sky food decks? Uh, they're over there fine. Like, all the food decks are totally fine, but none of them are, like, particularly good. Like, all of the food decks are capable of winning. All of the food gate decks have, have like, game to them, of course. But they all are like, like, I honestly think that the Asmo package just needs to be cut from these food decks. It's like really disruptible. It's not particularly great in the metagame. And it's like, you have to dedicate, you have to play four cookbooks, four Asmo, four Daredevils. And it's like so many slots for your deck. And it's like, it's very disruptible too. And it eats like a lot of, like it's, it's soft, soft to Alpine Moon, soft to Dress Down, soft to Artifact Hate. It's kind of soft to everything. And I just I just think that those decks would be better if they moved away from the food plan and they moved back just like they just were like more saga based, you know. 
I don't know. But then Saga gets worse if you don't play the cookbook plan. It's just like, it's just not that good. Unfortunately. I wish that it was. Because it is a cool deck. Let's see if they found Force. They're definitely not dead if they have it. This is their fourth Crashing Footfalls. Their draw was really good this game. But ours was good too, of course. Just you wait. I mean, I don't know. This, I've, I've been waiting, but it's like the food players, it's like every week they're like, this is the answer to our archetype. This new brew is definitely what we need for our archetype to succeed in modern. It's just the food package, but now we're also playing uh, Ragavan and uh, Esper Sentinel or uh, Tarmogoyf Ridden 6. Uh, this is the answer. Actually, it was Tarmogoyf and Ridden 6. Uh, it was Thought Monitor Ephemerate. It was the reanimator plan. But the reality is uh, the deck's just not that good. And that's okay. The deck's just not that good. It's fine. It's not, it's not that bad either. The deck is not that bad either. It's definitely a playable deck. You could definitely win games of magic with it. But it's just, it's just not that good. And it's not getting better no matter like what pile of cards you throw in there, I think. I am, I'm willing to eat those words, but I haven't eaten them yet. I do feel about Dovin's Veto as a separate card for, for me. One mana versus two mana is huge. It's really, really big. Probably an interesting conversation, though. I think I'm just going for the kill. They have to have two relevant spells here, and even if they do, they're still really behind. If they had a removal spell for Luris, they would have already cast it, too. When, so we, we just played this matchup. We just 5-0'd uh, against our opponent's deck, and... It seems like a pretty favorable one. I think this was my sideboard plan. Although I, I, I feel like that we actually probably, we have so many answers to Rhinos. I'm actually just gonna leave in all four pushes where it, it felt like we like just need to make sure we can answer their borrowers and their bone crusher giants. Yeah, I've been really liking Gutshot on the sideboard of modern decks right now. It's like very good against Hammer Time and Ragavan decks, which is a huge part of the metagame. Oh yeah, I, I did bring in the Damnation. Oh yeah, I cut the I cut the second into the story for the damnation. All right, I mean we keep this hand. This inevitable play, inevitable trail. Uh, I don't think that card's like very good in modern in general. Can't we just play disfigure something or is being free the real peel? Yeah, it's yeah a zero mana answer to to Ragavan is it is the biggest deal. It's the biggest deal. The the early game in modern and the rag the, the, the matchups against the Ragavan decks are the, those first two turns matter so much. Where they really just are trying to play three one mana spells on turns on turns, you know, one and two a lot of the time. And if you can answer a Ragavan or a Darcy for zero mana, it slows them down so much, especially if you have something else interactive to do. It's it's a it is just the biggest deal. I feel about this version versus Demir Merc. I've been liking this version more. Been doing a lot better with this version. Suspend another Footfalls. They don't have another land. Honestly, Gut Gutshot is super underplayed at Modern. Like, I I'm I've been saying this a little bit, but I'm kind of scared to say it. But Hammer Time players, you need to play Gutshot. It's it kills Kataki, it kills Ragavan, it kills Darcy, it kills like Cards of the Mirror for zero mana. Uh, you should you should be playing Gutshot in your Hammer Time sideboards. Oh, I need to tell my friend Matthew that, actually. He's playing Hammer Time this weekend. And I can't Charm here because I get got by Violent Outburst. Can you imagine Gutshot and Kataki out of Hammer Time? It's just so gross. You can think of the ice is better than Murktide. I mean, no, but like you lose Lurus as a Murktide, which is a huge deal. Is Infect just dead because of a Hammer Time? Uh, Infect is dead. It's not because of Hammer Time. <laughs> that deck's been dead, baby. That deck's been dead.
What's the Mingu's teamer deck? The team, Mingu's teamer rhinos? Uh, oh, Mingu's uh, teamer Tarmogoyf Murktide deck? I can't remember exactly what the list looks like, but I kind of feel like if you play Murktide, you just don't need to play Goyf too. They're just, there's like a little bit of tension. It's not huge, but it's, it is enough tension that I'm not thrilled about it. Thanks, Baba. I think I'd like to maybe try to bait a Cascade spell here. Also not, like, too interested in taking a ton of damage. Uh, I don't think Defense Grid is, like, particularly good in any shell I can think of. They only have one more Crashing Footfalls left in their deck. At the time of making this comment, at least. And Soul Type Endurance with Goyf, Murktide, Scourge be good? Not Scourge. You, with Scourge, you need to have at least eight one-mana red creatures to damage your opponent on turn two. Do not play Scourge in a Soul Type deck. Red Phoenix has a game you consider. Yeah, hopefully. I really love that deck. I'm going to try it out. All right, this is their last Crashing Footfalls. They can't protect it. Oh, whoops. I'm going to draw two. I might draw a Fluster Storm. Or another charm. I mean, the two twos are a problem. They have another Crashing Footfalls coming off Suspend next turn. But now, now they're Violent Outbursts and their, their Charlotte's Agents just don't get to cascade into anything. I'm going to counter with Charm here. Not Fluster Storming, the creature spells me bad. Oh, maybe I should steal here. Yeah, well, I think we should actually just go for, like, the, the steal. You can block a Shardless Agent. Yeah, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commission a steal emote. I need to remember, though. <laughs> I need to re I need to remember, but the steel has just become such a good meme. But how how it's worked is I I feel like every time I commission a emote, the, like the jokes end up dying before the emote gets finished. Oh whoops! Okay. I should I needed to let them attack first, and then I click the charm, which will will it will read paying costs on the screen. I put up two counter spells here. They have double dispute or force plus dispute, but oh, they can't have force plus dispute. Actually, they only have two blue. It has to be double dispute. But you guys have to promise that the steel joke won't get old if I commission the emote. Okay. We actually have lethal. If my opponent has nothing, we could just steal, animate the hall, smack him for fifteen. They don't have Dispute in their hand. Feeling pretty comfy because my opponent has no more Footfalls in their deck. This is both games. We just fought through all four copies of Footfalls. It's kind of interesting. I think that that's like a, a glowing review of this matchup. My opponent uh, cast four footfalls both games, and it just still wasn't that close. We didn't even like draw explosives either. <laughs> we even get to see how they sideboarded. No, they brought in Blood Moon. Oh, maybe this matchup's terrible, actually. What do you think is lack of Teferi Time Ravelers? Uh, I've been playing. I've been playing some Teferi Time Ravelers lately. The card's good. I've been playing in the four color deck and the Just Guy Murktide deck. I definitely think it's good. But I'm not, I'm also not don't really think there's a like a distinct lack of of them though. Yeah, I don't need to uh I don't need to haul the storm giants here. Take my time. Think thing in the ice is important in this deck. I do. We played a version like this last week or two weeks ago. That was just playing Hall of the Storm Giants and 
um, Snapcaster and Luris as its win conditions. I was playing a third hall at the time. And the deck was fine. Like, we were winning with it, but... I did feel like the la a lack of a way to like impact the board was a big problem because you really had to actually answer everything immediately. Um, and so I, I tried a different version. I was playing Murktide Regent instead, and losing Luris was a big problem. But now that we know how good Dressdown is, now that we know that Dressdown is just like kind of busted, um, I like this. This version makes so much sense to me, you know. Why not Hall? Wouldn't it just be a win? Didn't they have a blocker for Hall? They just chump blocked the Hall. Doesn't really matter. Don't need to nitpick too much. This game's just unlosable. We're currently 10 and 1 on the day. There are so many different uses for it. In addition to, like, in this deck, it just is recurrable by Luris. Um, and it, like, makes your thing in the ice a lot stronger. Um, I'm gonna keep this. We have three looks at a second land. Oh, my opponent's playing Kahira. This hand's like, yeah, the, the dress down thing in this plan's good against them. I need to get some water too. Um, I think I'm gonna bubble myself. If I see that I'm uh, drawing a land, I might not cling to dust. We're drawing Thought Scour. I think I'm still clinging because if I don't if I don't draw a land, I can't cling to dust off the River of Tears. So two more looks. Three, I guess, if you got the scour. There we go. Ding 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 ding. <sighs> okay, now things are a little weird, I guess. Where, like, saving the dress down to stop some of my opponent's elemental stuff is potentially pretty valuable. But I should probably just end up in step. You to play just play thing in the ice there? Hmm. I feel like if we're, I think it's probably better to. Oh, my opponent expected the thing in the ice to get countered and did not <laughs> just F6. I think it's, I think if we're going to go for Thing in the Ice, we should be Dress Downing, I think. A land would be great. We could flip the Thing in the Ice immediately. Kind of weak to exactly Solitude. Now it's weak to Fury, too. I mean, it's still a two for one. Red, White. Prismatic ending. Hmm. Unfortunate. I should probably just get the thing in the ice and play here. You can you can redeem a duck tech whenever chaos theory if you have the points or the ten bucks. And you draw a bobble or fetch land probably. Kind of doing fine if we do. At least at the time of making this comment, my opponent doesn't have a cavern. Okay, we drew the fetch land. Thank Clothus. As for version of deck with for prismatic ending, um, well, prismatic ending plays not that well with Drown Lock and Into the Story, and you don't have an Esper Triumph for the super easy splash. So, like, th those are my concerns. You might still be able to make it work. Please, no fury, no solitude. It's kind of asking for a lot, but look, sometimes you get a lot, I guess. Would love to draw a land. Didn't draw the land, we get to kill the thing in the ice, or the red and six with thing. I don't think we're supposed to attack them. I think it's just too easy for them to like play a blocker and ultimate their end. Dress down can be good too. They didn't have solitude or endurance last turn or or fury last turn. 
They do have seven cards in their hand. They have Solitude. Maybe they didn't have a white card. This could be maybe Omnath. Yeah, it looks like Omnath and they mistapped their mana. River of Tears proves back or Ghost Spiral. I don't think so. River of Tears only produces mana if you play to land. Ghost Spiral puts the land into play, which is like a little different. So it, if you, it's a Fairy Time Raveler, plus one, then explore, then it should work. No mana for them. They, they must be kind of flooded then. So let's go attack, let's just attack first. That doesn't allow you to play a land on your opponent's turn. Ex it explore doesn't. Looks like my opponent's gonna ephemerate. I'll just kill the Omnath with Drown then. Yeah, okay, I guess I guess I guess what does Explore say? Where we you may play an additional land this turn. I see, I see. I thought that that would work. If it doesn't, then uh it doesn't. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we truly with the list. We're currently uh, 10 and 1 on the day with this deck. Fresh Brew. I want to again shout out Odat Pro, who's a Twitter user and MTGO streamer, who uh, suggested this, this interaction this morning to be on Twitter. Really, really cool idea. I want to stop them from shuffling their graveyard back in. Pretty lucky for us that they never drew a cavern this game, too. You see your tweet about Solemnity in Standard? I didn't know. Did you do this in Standard with Solemnity? <laughs> I don't think I don't think we're playing a Solemnity thing on the ice anytime soon. Were we talking about thing in the ice just on a few days ago? I, I you know I I'm sure someone in chat brought it up. It was it, it wasn't on my radar. I forgot about it or I didn't see it in chat. Maybe maybe we brought it up and I forgot about it, but it was definitely this like the inspiration was from Odat Pro this morning. How do you decide if the interaction is actually decent for being or being too cute? Uh the key is to do nothing but play magic um your entire life. To do nothing but play magic uh, and think about magic. And you'll start to recognize which interactions are too cute, which ones are good. At least that's, my, that's, at least that's been my strategy. Maybe some people are naturally better at it than me. <laughs> but that's what I do. <laughs> Just don't do anything else. Gamer, come on. <laughs> We had, we had these, yeah, I, to, I totally forgot about it if we did have a combo. I'm like not even remembering now. But I believe you. I believe you. All right, winning game one's nice. To bring in the fourth dress down, the damnation. I think Thoughtseize is okay against elementals too. The card counter spell is really good against them if they um if they uh don't draw cavern and it's like really bad against them if they do, but it still has some targets. I'm gonna go minus one thought scour, minus one counter spell. Submit this. No, I don't think we're led on win cons. We have three thing in the ice, two Hall of the Storm Giants, which are really good win conditions, then Snap Loris. It's, just, it's enough. Yeah, usually, yeah, you're going to default to Thought Scouring your opponent with this deck, but there will be times where you're Thought Scour yourself. But to turning Thought Scour helps turn on into the story and drown. Can maybe cut the cling for the fourth Scour. That's probably fine. Like, turning on drowns quickly is pretty important in this matchup. Delver of Grixis, still a good username. Thank you for your 213 sub. I'll take this wrong way, but good god, Lurus is too good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Lurus is, is broken. I I don't I don't take that the wrong way. There's a reason why I put it in like so many decks. The card the card is just broken. I I kind of uh 
Don't wish that Lyra stays with Modern forever. Living in me, thank you for your subscription. Appreciate ya. Am I cast damnation? Uh, maybe once today. They play three fairy, like shaving a second counter spell for a thought seize. Well, isn't counter spell better against two fairy than thought seize? That would be my thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lurus, Lurus definitely too good. Should never have uh, been printed. I right, drew an island. Yeah, I. <laughs> how could I be offended when you just say something that's so true? Any control matchups? Uh, not really. Control's not super popular at the moment because control players won't stop playing to fairy hero or Jace. They won't just like try anything else. <laughs> have cavern this game which makes things harder bobble is fine without Luris. Eh, it's still like one of the best cards Oscar is pretty good against flame can harbinger huh I do this end of turn they got a voice and i'm like really not interest that interested in letting them have that so i could have bobbled myself and then um you know, try to find another land, but I get I get you know like three more looks at a land here with the thought scour, my draw step, and the bobble draw, and I already have a land in my hand, so I'm feeling all right. If Laura said cards not permanent would still be as good, I mean it would obviously be worse. It would still be very very good, but it would obviously be like a like a way more reasonable card. Oh, I need to check if I own River of Tears. I think I have two. Some people say Bobble should go, but you think Luris first? I don't know. Like, it, it is a problem having them both in the same format. I think that one should go at some point. Maybe not now. Maybe not next season, but at some point. But it, it is true that Luris is still... Like, Luris will specifically... That my, my biggest issue with banning b just Bobble, and I know that I've, I've had different positions on this as time goes on, but my biggest issue with just banning Bobble is that all of a sudden, like... Hammer Time is still like a very good Luris deck, and Hammer Time is like maybe the only good Luris deck. And that gives Hammer like this huge advantage that they get to play Luris, and Luris is still very good in their deck, and then all of a sudden nobody else is getting to play it. And I, and I, I do view that to be like an issue. How big of an issue is that going to be? I'm not sure. But that like, I, I definitely see like Hammer Time all of a sudden needing a ban if, if Bobble gets banned and not Luris. Bobble's fine before Luris. Yeah, but they, it's not just Luris that makes Bobble good. It's Emery, it's Darcy, it's, you know, it's a lot of different cards. Maybe mostly just those two cards, but there, it's it, it turns on a lot of things. Bobble is going to, like, continue to get better, even if Luris gets banned. More cards will, will be printed that make it good. <laughs> Thank you, Hardcore Henry. Uh, yeah, the opportunity cost to play this card is just not that high. Is Hammer the only deck that uses Luris and Urza Saga? Um, there's there's maybe more design space there. Um, all right, I don't want to push and get got by uh, Solitude here, but I think I'm fine to the thirst now that I have a counter spell up for Solitude. Just drop the companion mechanic. I mean, Luris is the only broken companion in modern. I I even like I even like the companion mechanic, but Luris is just too high power level for like the design space. Like they should have all been the lower power level uh, options. It's just like Yorion and Luris are so clearly better than everything else. I mean, Garuda and Zerda and Legacy, notwithstanding, but it's just like yeah look they're just it's just it's just so much like there's so much clearly better than everything else it's kind of ridiculous will ragged be bad at modern legacy probably not i you know i thought maybe for a little while it was possible but like over the last couple of weeks like we kind of saw a shift where all of a sudden uh like i like i i like have stopped playing as many ragavan decks because the format's kind of inhospitable to it okay eyes of the wizen has been revealed a ragavan's always going to be a good card but it's not always going to be the best card reading this for the first time tribal enchantment whenever an opponent casts a blue spell 
During your turn, you may create a 4-4 green elemental creature token. Okay, don't let any- don't let Canister know that this card exists. Do not let Canister know that this card exists, okay? Nobody tell him. Nobody tell Canister. I was, it's probably not that good. It's probably not that good, but it's pretty funny, right? Yeah, it's probably not that good. I'm just I'm just teasing. But it's 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 cool. It's cool. It's like interesting, right? It's not gonna do anything here. Alright, Artifact Storm. Uh I I don't think I could ever recommend playing Hedron Crawler in your modern deck. I'm trying to see why are you playing that over like any just two mana mana rock? Yeah, just I would play like Mindstone or any two mana mana rock before that one. Oh, this is Pioneer. This is Pioneer. That's why. Cool. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. All right. So I'm going to play around Solitude. They got another one. Oh, they chose not to. Sorry. Sorry. I'm playing around Solitude by um, uh, waiting to draw. So I still have a counter magic up for Solitude. This is very cool. I honestly feel like I can't give you like great uh, advice on this deck. I'm not. I'm just not in tune with the the modern uh, metagame in general, and uh, I'm not in tune with the modern metagame in general, or so the pioneer metagame, and or maybe both. And uh, that deck is like way too complicated for me to wrap my head around right now. So if we could maybe get a mod to refund that request, but very cool deck. All right, 2-0. Oh. It wasn't you? Oh, sorry, who was it? I missed it, everything's going so fast. I'm sure th if, if a mod could figure it out and then let me know that they got it done. Playing against elves. All right, let's uh, go and push the ranger, I guess. Elves is probably an amazing matchup, huh? Thanks, Squee. Thanks, Chaos Theory. Sorry, I missed, missed who it was. Yeah, it's like using a counter spell here. Not 100% convinced that it's correct. Kind of scared of Coco, maybe. Feels like the most mana efficient play, though. Yeah, yeah Dress Down is definitely going to be good in this matchup. Alright, we can let that one go for now. Yeah, I think we're eleven and one. We went four one five zero. Now we're two zero. So they don't have a third land in their hand. That's very good to know. Yeah, I just don't get to use my mana that efficiently. If I like the dress down isn't like really getting any value here. I think I'm just pretty content to wait. I might go snap fatal push here. Might be better to go thirst instead. Yeah, let's just play the thirst. Just get this dealt with the dress down up yeah it was definitely smarter than put ranger not symbiote symbiote's like really really good if symbiote ever got printed into modern it might be a little too strong i think i'm gonna dress down so they can't use their ranger for mana here oh well punish for not playing it end of turn i suppose Right, let's pass it back. I might uh I might save the thing in the ice until I can go like Luris dress down or maybe draw another dress down. Oh, this matchup's gotta be insane. We're a thing in the ice deck too. Oh my gosh, this matchup's so good. Thanks, Sergeant. Yeah, I've got a really good chat, especially for you know how like how big the chat's gotten. It's still like the vibe has stayed really good for a long time. I'm very lucky in that regard. Yeah, I know Allosaurus Shepard, also definitely nice. 
All right, maybe with Dress Down. Dress, Dress Down is great. Dress Down is super underplayed in Modern. We've been doing really well with it in a Grixis Death Shadow deck, but it's also like very good with Thing in the Ice. We're currently 11 and 1 with this deck today. It's been good. Turn Forest on type creature, right? I want to leave this uncracked for revolts. I'll go to get the third grave. We'll be fine. Yeah, the Jade Avenger has been a great luck charm so far. Pretty, pretty strong. Spike, why don't steal? Would it be better to wait until energy push? No, because then they can use the Ranger for some mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. I don't think there's like any reason to like let them use the mana when we know that they're stuck on two lands. Want to hear a good joke? Artifact? Is that like the the game artifacts? That's the joke. Lean to dust on top. All right, fine. I'll just play the thing in the ice now, just try to flip it. There's your knight, five bucks. How do you feel about enchantress decks? I feel like they're a little underplayed at the moment. Just 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 a little bit though. I don't think they're like a, a secret hidden gem that's um this crazy metagame smasher or anything like that. But I, I just think that they're like reasonable and no not too many people are playing them. Alright, Heritage Root's kind of scary. Blood Chief's Thirst. Probably just keep that one. Just let them go off a little bit here. Then we can go Cling, Thirst. I guess we're going to be like a couple of cards short. Uh, be Kicking Thirst. <laughs> I guess this attack is close to free. Does Dress Down stop Annihilator and Emrakul? Yes, it does. Like, didn't that come up the other day, or like it almost came up? If we're not the best use of resources, we should be fine here. Uh, the thing in the ice plan has been pretty good so far. I've play I, I played a deck like this like a couple weeks ago without the plan and this has definitely felt better to me. Okay, so we can flip thing in the ice if we either draw a land or we draw, you know, any like any spell we can cast. So I'm feeling pretty confident about our chances to flip a thing in the ice here. Okay, there's the land. So we're gonna go main phase, snap, thirst on the Heritage Druid and bounce their board. You have played second thing and stolen Druid. Uh, they, you can't, you can't steal Arch Druid. If you mean steal Heritage Druid, yeah. But I'm never letting my opponent untap with Elvis Arch Druid. That's just never like the line. Stealing the Heritage Druid is also bad if we're trying to flip the thing in the eyes because it's going to go back to their hand. We did 5-0 with the deck, yeah. We're currently 11-1 and one on the day, which is pretty good. Oh, they have another Heritage Druid. Kind of interesting. They can't really play Arch Druid, though, because now... Oh, they don't have to chump block this turn, actually. And they can even chump block with Nettle Sentinel. Okay. Well, maybe I should have thought scared myself. If I go snap, Blood Chief's Thirst, kill this. I lose to Black Source plus Shaman of the Pack. I lose to only that. I guess Coco and a double Shaman. 
I feel like my opponent's not playing black. Man, I think they're mono green. Why do I prefer modern over all the other formats? Uh, I mean, Titan Leaders is great. Kamagawa block constructed is like been one of my favorites for years. Uh, I really enjoy um, uh, Triple Theros Limited. Uh, Standard has also been like just amazing for years now, right? Standard has just been so, so good. Standard's been great. For like, I just can't remember the last time we had like a bad standard. Uh, Pioneer. Pioneer's awesome. Always like a lot of fun, innovating, interesting stuff happening in that format. Um, um, historic is, is what, I, my favorite thing about Historic is that when I think about Historic, I have like a really clear picture of what all the cards in the format are. And when I think about Historic, I just have a good idea of what all the cards are. And I feel like I can really try to build decks because I know what's in the format. And it's like very easy and accessible to get into is my favorite thing about Historic. Um, and my favorite thing about Legacy is it's super easy to, to deck build in that format too. Yeah. Man, losing this game would be wild. We actually might. We're actually behind. Let's draw dress down, so we can go dress down, thing in the ice, flip with thought scour. We jump block here. Historic is great. I'm sure it's great. I just like, how does anyone ever get into historic, right? I, I can't get into historic. It's like so inex unaccessible. I'm sure the format's really fun though. I guess I'll thought scour first. So I can go attack. Chump block. How do we how did we lose this game? What happened? Steel Heritage Drew, but then they look in like Warmaster Pump. When I try to flip the thing in that scene, I feel like it's real, basically impossible. I guess it's, it would have been theoretically possible if we had played the thing first. Maybe that was better. I was thinking, but I was thinking if I, if I drew Dress Down off Thought Scour, that was, it was better to do this first, right? That was, that, that was what I was drawing to. I don't know if I'm dead. I'm going to make them figure it out. Maybe Elves is underplayed. This doesn't give Trample, it gives Death Touch, right? Yeah, we might not be dead here. But like, yeah, they still have a bunch of lands. Now they can, they can Arch Druid activate if they tap two or dead on board. They're lucky they didn't add tapped. Oh, I see. Tap with Druid, right, right, right. Yeah, one second Ruin's fine, Johnny, as a replacement. Doesn't matter that much. I have Luris, too, next turn. They hit me for four. I have to tap the Arch Druid to do so. No, our thing in the ice is dying if they pump, because this gets, this gets Death Touch, we have to block. I guess it would die either way. Does Dress Down save us? Wait, they're not pumping. They're not pumping. But we can't, okay, hold on. Opponents, why are you throwing this game away? So I can go Cling to Dust, Fatal Push, Counterspell. We've had some opponents today, man. We've had some opponents. I mean, they yeah, they definitely have another Coco, but another Coco I don't think matters that much. Cuz I'm just gonna, I'm just going to yeah, it's yeah, it shouldn't matter that much. We need to counter the cling. No, we didn't. We can counter the push. 
It's the same. I guess we like leave them with another card in their hand, but this like gives me the out. This gives me the out to draw another push or a thought scour, and then hold the counter spell up for Coco. This is better. What a weird game. They float mana and Coco after I flip. Yeah, but what, like, what is their Coco doing? They have to block both thing and the ices. They just chump block with both creatures that they get. And then like they really can't rebuild all that well next turn. They have to block both. Both Awoken Horrors every turn the rest of this game. They, they definitely have Coco, but it's like they need the Coco into like double Elvish Warmaster or something. They only have like two left in the... No, they, they only have one left in the deck. Coco into double Shaman. I, there's like, there's no way my opponent has no black. Like, there's no way that they have black in their deck, right? Maybe. Uh, I, feel like, I feel like there's like, I don't know. It's, it seems unlikely to me. I mean, there's no, there's, a, they have to have Coco here, right? They just easily flip mana than Coco. Any reason until post combat to flip Thing in the Ice? Uh, I mean, that's that seems bad because then they get to chump block a Thing in the Ice, right? I think this is just better. Yeah, they just concede. Well, that was they were able to play surprisingly well. Then they kind of uh, punted at the end there, I guess. So I'm interested in these seven cards. Are we gonna cut the counter spells? And like three thought scour. They will play like two counter spells. Two counter spells, one into the story, no thought scour. I think that's fine. Being able to counter Coco is often nice. No, I don't like to bring in Chalice against like when I have like all these one drops. Like I have nine one drops in my deck. And like they have Cavern of Souls in their deck, maybe, which would just turn off Chalice anyways. And Chalice on the draw is like really slow. They can easily get all their one drops out of their hand anyways, too. Hey P Ponce, how you doing? Yeah, Counterspell's been in Modern for like four months now. Modern's crazy right now. Cling this back a cling. Cling is like very rarely bad. I feel like the like life gain and the card draw is like good enough for me to want it. Yeah, cling cling is very rarely bad. Sometimes it sometimes it is like fine to cut, but. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's going to be that often that I'm actually, like, hating Kling. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why do you have to play the two toughness self? Like cutting Thought Sky is loose. It's hard to flip thing when you're one man and numbers are lower. Well, we, we have four uh, dress downs now. I think it should be fine. Thought it was safe opponent to go for the druid. How's the deck against Tron? Eh, I'll be fine. Delta on top with shuffle. I don't know what the worst matchup is. We played against Bring to Light Scape Shift and we lost to it. That didn't ma that matchup didn't seem great. Um So I'll wait to kill the drown the druid. It's kinda of bad if they have Veil, but I mean, it's always bad if they have Veil. We could draw explosives and then not really want to kill this that aggressively. Yeah, I know. It feels like a lifetime ago that MH2 dropped, but it has only been... Uh, it has only been two months. Or not even two months. Like, a two months a week from tomorrow. I, I, I know because I was, like, looking up the date because I was thinking about, like, starting off an article with that information. Sunday breakfast sausage, oh man. I'm already pretty hungry, I skipped breakfast. And I don't know how you can sub just subscribe like that with that kind of username. Kind of, uh... Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't. This is kind of painful. Maybe I should have just gone, uh... Um, push this, drown this. Uh, if you love Creeping Tar Pit, you can play it because you love it. The card is, like, a lot worse than Hall of the Storm Giants, though, I think. Speaking of Hall of the Storm Giants. Yeah, Drown is pretty bad if they end up going Land Coco. I mean, Land Coco is pretty tough no matter what. 
Is there some interaction between Manlands and Dress Down? No, Hall of the Storm Giants is just good. I mean, there is interaction where, like, this loses Ward 3. My opponent's not attacking with Metal Sentinel. That might just be a misclick. I honestly skip breakfast way too often. I mean, t today I was kind of doomed anyways because I went to bed late and then I woke up like twice. So I, I just set my alarm for 30 minutes later and just planned to skip breakfast. Uh, I was just doomed from the beginning today. And they have force on top, so I don't need to drown the mystic to try to play around Coco. All right. I mean, Snapcaster's always been good. It just doesn't go in every deck like it used to. They almost definitely have one Coco. They might have two. Let's see how good or bad this one is. Yeah, boarding in dis. I mean, we're a thing in the ice deck. Boarding in dismember is fine. Yeah, they sold. We like we beat them with thing in the ice. It's totally fine. Loaming shaman. Now am I trading Loris because I don't have the bobble anymore? Wait, is this this isn't even an elf? This is just a strictly worse endurance. This is just straight up a strictly worse endurance, right? Yeah, I guess budget. That's not I guess that's not strictly better or worse, huh? No attack with the Sentinel either. I would have blocked. Guess maybe they know that, huh? Chain gifting five subs too. Thanks, buddy. A lot of so many gifted subs today. It's way too much. But thank you for your, your generous donation, Chain. Up to 251 subs. If you uh like good podcasts, you should check out the dive down. Hopefully they'll have me back on at some point, huh? Hopefully they'll have me back on at some point. Nerds is currently 60 bucks. Yeah, I guess that's probably a good reason, huh? Probably a good enough reason. Give me one reason to stay here. If you type exclamation point dive down in chat, it should link to like an old podcast I was on with them. I need to counter Coco. Yeah, they definitely have Coco, I think. Definitely, I think. If they don't cast it here, I'm not going to suspect they have it anymore. Yeah, I don't know why they're not attacking with the Sentinels. Doesn't make a ton of sense. Oh, it was a Court of Calling. I would ideally like to not draw a land at some point. Let's not have six. Let's make them think I've got some spells. All right, need some help. Help deck, help. Could be better to block an Elvish Mystic because these the Nettle Sentinel might not untap. I guess I could maybe have blocked the Shaman. Yeah, that could have been better. Okay, so I can animate Hall of the Storm Giants and drown the Archdruid uh, in combat, so I can block two things. Get down to four. Yeah, it should be alive here, but just barely. Did my mat come in? Uh, no, I ordered it like yesterday, right? Maybe two days ago. I was thinking about making some TikToks with it. So we're gonna drown the Archdruid. Block this, this, take two. Opponent, please. (sighs) 
what's the mat? It's really, really good. Uh, it's a, the, so from the, there was like a, a tournament in New Jersey over the weekend that had like a really, really, uh, a lot of logistical issues and the play mat was, has like terrible graphic design on it. In my opinion. And it's like just really, really funny. I bought a mat. It, it was so bad. It's like so. It's definitely in the so bad it's good category. So we're not dead if they draw nothing next turn. We're also capable of drawing Snapcaster, huh? So I can main phase Snap draw two. But if I draw nothing, then I lose to my opponent drawing like any spell to untap the Sentinel. So I think I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, if you just Google Secret Layer Playmat, you should be able to find it. Azuri? Well, they can't activate Azuri. If I go Snap Counter, I die. So I actually have to go Snap Steal. I'm sure Chad is thrilled. Can I animate this and Snap Drown? No, I don't have nearly enough mana, right? Oh, actually, I'm one away. Now I need to draw a spell. Oh, I guess I, I could snap draw, but I could I guess I could snap draw. Why no steal pre-combat? Well, I was thinking that they wouldn't attack. Maybe just drawing two is better. No, I think I'm gonna steal. Well, let's see. Yeah, you know what? I think that this is like definitely the higher upside. I'm not even like clearly winning if I flip thing in the ice. So maybe I should just main phase this. I mean, they drew the Azuri though. Like other green spells make me a little more comfortable. Okay, we, we break till we lose. I don't know, man. That was tough. Uh, we're not. We're not. I guess. I guess we could have drawn Bobble. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're not winning anyways with the Bobble on top. I guess. Get to be on the play for game three. Long match. Yeah, I really didn't have that many cards to draw into, honestly, because I boarded out the Thought Scours. Should be fine. Is it better to snap drown? No, if I if I I need to I need to snap charm there. I'm dead on board if I snap drown the Azuri. Chalice is I don't think Chalice is good. I mean, maybe. Like their deck is not all one drops, they empty their hand really quickly. And um like I have nine one drops in my deck too. Is the mouth lightning in secret layers? No, it's like there's like Goku, Liliana, Pikachu. If if some let me let me let me pull up the mat since we're talking about it. I I did buy one. Shouldn't be that hard to find. Just googling secret GP play mat. Okay, I have to go to Twitter for it, I guess. This is the play mat. It's something, man. It's really something. Goku is not poorly drawn, but this background, I love it. It looks like like a like the Napoleon Dynamite photo booth scene. I love it. Yeah, I I I oh, 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 oh. I did buy one. I did buy one. Yeah, I don't I don't know if uh anybody knows the lore of why the mat looks like that. Kept a one lander? Yikes. Yeah, yeah, the, the play mat is really, it's, it's honestly great, like, it's, like, way more desirable than any other, like, regular play mat, so they, they did a good job with it. All right, I think we're gonna be four now. All right, let me go ahead and, I, I'm gonna feel very confident, obviously we could still theoretically lose this game, but I'm gonna go ahead and get tr tr the trophy prediction for trophy 22 going.
See if we get back to back trophies. Oh wait, hold on. We're currently two and zero. I thought we were three and zero at the moment. Okay, well, I guess we're getting the prediction going anyways then. But keep in mind we have to win this match and, then now, and two more, actually. Sorry, chat. It'll be fine. We'll get it. Whatever. Just, like, bet accordingly, knowing I have to win two more matches after this one. Yeah, I know I need, I need sleep really bad. I'm, like, really just not at 100% today. I'm definitely going to be, like, eating a ton of food right after the stream and then napping really hard. A trophy is 5 0 in a league. I am certainly, certainly am running on fumes today. Maybe I can grab a granola bar or something. I'll do that in between this match and next one. Prestige League's Dread Trophy, uh, 99%. I don't know. A lot these days. I've been doing really well lately. Like, th this week has been really good. Last week wasn't very good. Like, last week we, like... I got I got two trophies on Sunday. Like, like this last Sunday. But I maybe got one trophy all week. Maybe two. I don't know. Three bounce two snapcasters with thing in the ice. Something. There's just something right about that. Up to the opponent's clock. They played very slowly the whole match. This is what happened to it. But besides that, uh, <laughs> not much. The one small thing of playing slow the whole match. Should be able to kill them next turn with double snapcaster. I was just guy Merc tied. It's pretty good, I think. I haven't played it uh like a ton lately, but I, I do think I do believe in the deck still. Alright, so we're about to head on to match four of this league. Uh, oh, the playmat, as far as I know, is not for sale anywhere besides just like individual sellers who got it at the GP. I got it from a guy on Twitter. Alright, 3 0. I'm gonna grab a granola bar real quick. Hmm. I think it's Luris. I'm not sure what Doomwake's playing if he's on Luris. I'm gonna shovel a thing in the ice here. Shuffle bug. And your hands seems like it's probably pretty good against this. I guess I'll play Thing. Thing's really not dying to much here, right? I guess they could theoretically get on Holy Heat online, but it's not that likely. Go land next turn and can maybe like protect the thing from a uh, heat. That'd be pretty good. Jund? Never blocking here. Draw land, of course. I think I should Blood Chief's Thirst instead of push. Or instead of Thought Scour here, just not to take too much damage. He's playing my gen list? Cool. I do like the I do like this list. So if he's playing that list, I was playing two terminates, two heat, right? 
How about does it play if you think that's Grixis Shadow? I think I think thinking that it plays really poorly with like Darcy Ragavan Shadow. You have to pick a lane. And it's pretty good against this card if they don't get Delirium. Yeah, we had a, a read raid earlier, so we got some extra viewers in today. I mean, I trophied like twice with the, the list Dooms playing. I think it's a good deck. Flip the thing in the ice is really hard for them to deal with. Still no delirium. Takes a push. If they have bolt and heat, they can kill the thing in the ice. Look a good matchup, right? Do you listen to music while I stream? Yeah, I do. Usually. Sometimes I uh, cool it, but I do. I am right now. All right, so they're dead to a land. I could go push my thing in the ice, counter the push. They're also dead to Thought Scour, Cling to Dust. All right, not quite yet. It'll be a really hard thing for them to fight back from, though. Let's go! <sighs> Feels good. Um, we are on the draw against Darcy Ragavan, so I think I went gut shot. Gutshot also can combo with Dress Down to kill Tarmogoyf. I think I'm cutting like at least two counter spells here. I'm not sure if I want the Damnation. Damnation's kind of slow. I don't really like explosives against these kind of decks either. This sounds better against this version than like Grixis because they don't have counter spells. Oh, they're also playing two Croxas. Croxas is hard to beat too. I probably actually I probably don't want all these Thought Scours. Yeah, because they're yeah I, I usually try to bore out the Thought Scours against Croxa decks. So with that in mind, I'm gonna make a little bit more room. I think I want all dress downs, all four dress downs. I don't like love it against like Darcy Ragavan decks. I think I'm gonna play three. I think I'll play the Damnation and play either one Thought Scour or. The first Fluster Storm will play one Scour, I think. No, I don't really like E against those decks. It's just a three mana one for one. Is John in a good spot? My opponent's playing um, the John list I've been working on. I do think the deck's pretty good, yeah. Actually, do I want to hold up Counterspell or play Thing? Or just play Thing. Well, pretty aggressive start for them here. Then go Snap Blood Sheep's Thirst here. And we can also go Thirst, hold up Counterspell. Maybe that's a bit better. It's pretty close, I think. That Principe's John Coco list. We played against it earlier. I think it's fine. Not 100% sure. They can on Holy Heat. That's Delirium for them. This is the third Goyf. Is geez. Wow. And chump block the Tarmogoyf and then flip thing in the ice with charm, theoretically. Well, it's got three cards, two of them are spells though, because they missed a land drop. 
I'll just go to one. Then do another bolt, that's fine. Dead to Renin 6 2. Not dead to that. Now we have Counterspell up. Oh, so Doom's playing Scourge. No, it's not exactly the same list. Leaving in Scourge against the. Um, leaving in Scourge against the Dress Down deck is a little. sus. Like I said, I need to let Goyf resolve, so if they go land Scourge, I can counter that. Counter the Scourge, though. There's a 9-9 Death Shadow, but, uh... Wait, hold on, sorry. There's my... I, I, I should, sorry, I can't do the bit to Doom. Sorry, I'm not gonna slow roll. But there's a 1-mana permanent over there. What can I do here? You guys get the joke. Let's not, uh... Let's not slow roll Doom Wake. <laughs> Okay, so shout out to all the believers who believed even though I did the prediction a little bit early. <sighs> this is a crazy day. I'm like really like not feeling 100% today, but we're 13, 13 and 1 on the day at the moment. Even if we lose, it's been a great showing for the deck. Getting, getting that like getting that 20 second trophy would be absurd. Having a four trophy lead at this point in the game is just ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna keep this. We're playing in Solaris stack. Is River Winter's important? Not really, but I like it. Try to think of that card not as a dual land, but as an island that sometimes taps for black. Because when you're casting a blue spell, you're almost always casting it on your opponent's turn, where River of Tears always taps for blue, and occasionally it helps you cast a red spell. Or sorry, a black spell. Just not that often. I'm just gonna main phase push. I don't if they dash Ragavan, I'm just, I'm just not that worried. Okay, dress down's kind of interesting here. Some spicy tech food chain. It, I like the food chain deck in Legacy, it's pretty cool. So the Yun Doom thought process during the match was great. Yeah, it's always really cool to see both sides of it. Let's see if they're uh what their third color is. They're Grixis. I wonder if they're the shadow variant or not. Sounds kind of spooky, right? The shadow variant. I guess I want to just dress down to stop the ability. It's really not that good of an exchange for us though. Okay, well maybe I'll just get to Snapcaster and block. Dress down lets me if I draw a land though, I can steal the Ragavan, which is kind of nice. Exiled Bobble. My opponent's thinking about it here. If my opponent didn't have, if my opponent has a one mana removal spell, I really can't imagine they're like, they like are in the tank here, you know? Looks like they have a discard spell or a shadow. Is Charm especially good? Yes, absolutely. In a Ravagan world, yeah, it steals Ragavan. This card is just good against every deck. It's just it, the card is like always a great card, but it's like it's good against Rhinos, it's good against Hammer Time, it's good against the Darcy Ragavan decks. It's just never bad. Yeah, it's true. It's not very good against Jade Avenger because that card costs uh, two mana. Yeah, I think I want to try to get two for ones out of these cards. I'm just gonna dress down. If I draw a land. Do you draw the land. And then I'll go to main phase this to play around Drown and Block. I don't understand the Jade Avenger meme. Uh it's it's not that complicated, just kind of a a goof, you know. I just had uh, read the card. I, I was doing an MH2 draft and I saw the card for the first time and I, I thought it was really cool. And then I was just kind of joking about how I how did I miss this card? This card's so good. And it kind of evolved from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really the meta. It's a bit about Avenger being bad. All right, they've got no cards in their hand, but they get to draw off their bobble for the turn. They still have Luris. Where I think we're a little ahead right now. Okay, 
Okay, my top card's counter spell, so I'm not gonna put Lyris in my hand here. The Hall of the Storm Giants might just like kill them in one swing this game. This is Hall of the Storm Giants, it's the new man land from the uh D, D set. I'm liking it a lot. I guess we're gonna start working on these baubles, huh? I think we hold up mana here. Pretty bad if they like draw a discard spell to um, put Luris in our hand. We could just draw one more land to put Luris into play immediately. And then this is also a hedge against Dash Ragavan. I found Thoughtsea, so I'm glad I you know didn't put Luris in my hand here. Uh, only one five zero today, but we're currently playing for our second one of the day. Exile, second bobble, second push, second snapcaster, counter spell. I guess dress down. They're <laughs> so close to just dying to Hall of the Storm Giants. Didn't have a bolt. They have a Ragavan on top. But I, 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 how like careless are they going to be about Hall of the Storm Giant? Because if I just draw an untapped land, they're dead if they don't have a blocker. They can't really kill it. And yeah, they just put, yeah, I guess they're just going to be dead to an untapped land. Go. You know? This has happened a lot. I just I just kill my opponents with Hall and one swing. Seven is so much damage. Bam. Okay, so let's bring in yeah, the Grixis variants. All, all these variants are a little bit different. Like I like Fluster Storm against the Grixis deck. I might not play the full three. I want to cut the Thought Scours though. Um I'll cut this third dress down. This looks pretty good to me. I don't think I want damnation. Don't want don't like explosives. Ritter, thank you for your 9 month resub. Good luck with the trip race. Yeah, I'm glad everybody is real invested in it. It's been just great. I really have been enjoying it a lot. What was the last match? We played against Doomwake, who's playing Jund. Uh Jund Flores. Yeah, 7-7 seven, seven is huge for a man like. Have you considered placing Hall with Sosa Colony and splashing up a few triumphs? What are the bobbles for? We're a Luris deck. It's a, it's a neat little combo I've actually found that Luris can return Mistress Bobble for zero mana and draw a card every turn. And if you uh, jump through Luris's ludicrous deck building restriction requirement, you get to always draw Luris every single game. It's a neat little combo I found. Yeah, my spicy brew. Who else feels right as opposed to one or three? Yeah, I think you can play more if you play like 24 lands and you can play less if you play less than 22. If you play 24 lands, you probably want three hall. If you play 21 or less, you probably want one. 22 feels about right at two. Man, I love having got shot on the draw against these decks. Seems pretty weak in a format where in modern you can die on turn two. It's very rare that you die in modern on turn two. And it enters untapped, right? That's the big thing. A man land that enters untapped, even conditionally, we've never seen in modern. It's a really, really big game. Do you lay in bed and think of different decks all the time? Uh, yeah, I guess. That's pretty much all I do. We got game one. You can actually see it on the screen. If they're that, that green arrow means that I got it. A red arrow means I didn't. No, yeah, sorry, no, I, I'm sorry, a, a, a man land that taps for a color and enters untapped. Um, I, I forgot that part of it. I, that taps for a color. That's the, that's what we've never seen in modern. Hmm. Second gut shot. Sorry. 
Is there a card I wish was modern playable but isn't? Um, Celestial Colonnade. Dark Confidant. Chase the Mind Sculptor. They probably have Iteration in their hand. Celestian Charm is apparently modern playable. Fran's been doing well with it <laughs> against Murktide decks. Kind of looks like they're playing my list. I feel like there's the smallest chance ever that I'll want to go gut shot, snap gut shot. Uh, I had a colony by four color bring to light Valculus. Oh, that was, yeah, that was back before Hall of the Storm Giant, though. I just need one more win con and then call is a lot better than uh colonnade. they I'm too damage short. And then I just I just died to the shadow. I, I don't I unfortunately don't think I can go for it here. Uh, I don't think Esper I don't think Search for Esconta is playable in modern. There are other people that disagree with me on that point though. So you could maybe ask Gindrick. I would need to draw a push, drown. Uh, Archimedes Charm is the best draw, I guess. That one too. That works, that works. I guess I'm going to one life, and I guess I'm leaving Snapcaster back to play around Dash Dragavan. Let's got one card left. Got Alluris. I think we navigated this game as well as we could. I'm glad one of their two cards was Scalding Turn. The other card is Kologon's Command. I'm not happy that their other card was Kologon's. Okay. I think I'm going to choose to play game three. I do actually think it's an interesting conversation, play versus draw. Like if I mulligan, I'm like pretty unhappy to be on the play in these matchups. No, expl explosives is not good against my opponent's deck. It is like almost always a three mana one for one, which is terrible in these matchups. Very, very rarely is it going to be a two for one. It does kind of stink to have to rely on River of Tears for black mana, but I think we can keep. Take my thing in the eyes. I think this is probably pretty good in this matchup. Good draw. You play just some and instead play thing with no counters. You psych just on flips. You need to cast one more spell in order for it to flip, but you know, I think in the ice entering with zero counters is pretty good. And it's also nice that Thing in the Ice is, you know, both Thing in the Ice and Dress Down are individually fine cards. And it's nice that they have some synergy too, you know. I guess we don't need to we don't need to respond with anything here. We'll just kill the, the Darcy with whatever they leave me with. Should this be game three? Oh wait, this this is game three. The the record tracker's off. Yeah, I can lure us in hand, cling to dust, or do something else with what I draw. Okay, drawing that, I'm like really happy to Luris because there's a decent chance that my opponent will like dash Ragavan here and we get to get him. They also just go for Luris in hand. Alright, so I guess we're gonna hold up Snap Drown. Give me a good draw. That's worth drowning.
Uh, we got Magus of the Moon earlier, but I mean, it's like basic swap also like hurts you in your counterspell charm deck all the time. I'm I'm fine not playing it. <sighs> the top decks keep coming. We got attack. I know this turns on shadows. It's fine. Definitely not a show of strength here. I guess they could have like Flusterstorm or something. Oh, I do. And if I drew a land, I guess I drew the drown. I didn't really have a window to cling the bobble either. So I can lure a thing in the ice here. I can also cling to dust and just see what I draw. I feel like the thing in the ice is pretty good in this board. On this board. Possible getting like fetching here at Black Source isn't good, but kind of interested in being able to double black, like especially with the cling to dust. Oh, you know what a cool line is next turn? is I can gut shot my Snapcaster and play it off of Luris. Oh, I hope I get to do that. Tense game for the 5-0. Tense game for the 5-0. Option is to play Luris, gut shot Snap. Yeah, I guess I could have done that this turn too. I feel like this is a bit better. I feel like this is a bit better. I'm not sure. That could have been better. Like, this thing in the ice is a huge threat and like... Their only way to kill it is drown in the lock. I guess I guess they could have left it in heat too. But if they don't have heat, like like they just don't have, don't have that many ways to kill it, and it's just gonna kill them if it flips. Oh yeah, we were a mana short that turn. Okay, cool then. Not really worth thinking too much about. <clears throat> I think we discard the <coughs> <clears throat> Got shot there. They cast Darcy. They cast Darcy, we can clean their bobble, and then they won't have Delirium. Okay, they're gonna bobble instead. Are they gonna attack? If they attack, we probably don't block. It's just like getting our thing in the ice bolted is so bad. Okay, I guess it would have been better to discard the. Headshot to the Color Guns command to play around that. Should I cling to dust now or should I wait? I think I just wait. Yeah, yeah not cleaning the bobble ended up being super punishing for sure. We're also one man away from activating Hall. What's the one card I'm leaving in the yard? Probably, probably Drown. Oh no, I have to exile everything. I take the hit from the Luris. Tense, tense game. And <laughs> they played a land. They they haven't played a land. We're not, we're honestly not that likely to be able to flip thing in the ice here. But we win if we can, or we likely win. I guess I don't even deal that much damage. Got shot. No reason to cast it yet. <sighs> so close. Okay, right, pass back. This is, they're doing something on their upkeep here. Make me discard, surveil one. Right, let's let the surveil trigger happen, then fluster storm. I guess I could have got shot in response. <clears throat> they put a card on top. <sighs> Does it have to be on holy heat? Can it please be any other card? Like, what card would you ever keep on top besides Unholy Heat, though? Yeah, EE -E fans. This, this, I, I swear this never happens. Oh, it's true, they only have three types. 
You're right. You're right. Yeah, maybe iteration. Yeah, I'd probably keep iteration on top of there too. They don't really have great attacks, right? Oh, they probably have bolt. Oh, if if they have heat and we block. If we have heat and we block one of their creatures here, they get delirium. Four, six, seven. And well, we have to, we have to block something, otherwise we can't cast the gut shot. Oh, Lurus attack kills the shadows. Please, opponent. Please don't hear me say that. They bolt themselves. The shadows become five fives. Yeah, I'm not accusing my opponent here. Can't. Yeah, I think that they have bolt. So I think I'm gonna gut shot Darcy. Maybe I should gut shot right then. No, I have to gut shot the Darcy. Let's see how they react to this. And I think I'm gonna block here. Snapcaster on Shadow. Block first. I don't think blocking first is good. Maybe it is. I might want to block differently. I block here. Oh, they have something. They have heat. We can't beat heat this game. Okay, yeah. Okay, we can't beat that. I think. Can't beat it. Not much to do about that. That wasn't the read I had. Uh, I didn't board in the damnation. Usually, I don't think sweepers are very good against these decks, but... Would have been pretty good here, huh? So if my opponent has nothing, I can next turn draw Charm. Uh, I, oh, I can actually cling to Dust here. I can cling to Dust, even if they pay, pay a little bit of life. Yeah, we're not dead. So close, though. So close. It definitely feel, feels like there was a way to sequence this game, you know? Yeah, I still have Into the Story. I, I have both Into the Story still in the deck. I guess I could theoretically draw that into some stuff. No, I have no I have no sweepers to draw into right now. Yeah, I don't think we have outs. Yeah. I wonder if they play scared of something. I don't think there's like really anything. That shot on snap last turn would have won. Why would it have won? That shot on my snapcaster last turn. Yeah, I guess we win if they like punt and attack with the Luris there, maybe. There was, I'm sure there was a way to sequence that game. It's okay, we got a trophy today. We were 13-2 and two on, uh, on the day with this deck. We started off with a loss, we ended with a loss, and we won the 13 matches in the middle. Sorry, believers, but you got paid off earlier today. Yeah, really good, de really good deck, really good match. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, crazy stream too. We're almost at 2,000 viewers, which is...